Hello and welcome to this introduction to V-Ray for Maya. Today, we're going to show you how to set up V-Ray in Maya and get rendering. Be sure to check out the other videos in the series on lighting and materials in V-Ray for Maya. Let's get started. After installing V-Ray, the first thing you need to do is go to Maya's Plugin Manager, find V-Ray, and check Auto Load for the whole section. If you'd like to set up V-Ray as your preferred render setup system, you can do so in Preferences. V-Ray can use your CPU or GPU to render. Choose one depending on your hardware. In the Common tab, you can set your preferred aspect ratio and resolution. Add the denoiser render element and in the attribute editor, set the IPR engine to one of the available options. The V-Ray engine is recommended for final frames, while the NVIDIA AI and Intel Open Image engines are AI based and better suited to IPR. NVIDIA requires an NVIDIA card, while Intel runs on any CPU. Navigate the viewport and choose the angle for your camera. Save it by creating camera from the view. Enable the resolution gate to see the overlay in the viewport. In Maya's Attribute Editor, select the Attributes menu, navigate to V-Ray and choose Physical Camera. You can adjust the camera FOV and other parameters from the Extra V-Ray Attributes rollout. Now you're ready to start IPR directly in the viewport and enable viewport denoising. To add sun and sky, go to Render Settings, Overrides, Environment and create both the sun and sky from here. Adjust the position of the sun to your preference. To change the exposure quickly and easily, go to your V-Ray camera settings, switch to exposure value, and tweak it as needed. The 3D Models section in Chaos Cosmos has a lot of different assets that you can use to build your scene and add more detail, including furniture, trees, and vehicles. Download the 3D Models and drag and drop them into your scene. You can modify the assets as needed. For example, you can tweak the default materials or apply other materials. To further develop your scene, choose from the materials available in the Cosmos browser. You can download the materials and import them, or you can apply them directly to any geometry with a drag and drop. All Cosmos materials can be modified to fit your project. The third category you can find in Chaos Cosmos is a section on different day, evening, and studio HDRs. Each time you download and import one, it will be applied to your scene. Rotate its position if needed. Now we will switch to interactive rendering in the V-Ray frame buffer. To add another level of realism, go to Render Settings, Overrides, Volumetrics, and enable the use of environment volume. Picking aerial perspective is a fast and easy way to add depth to your image.
changing the distance and atmospheric height controls its appearance. In the VFB, you can easily add finishing touches and adjust the final look of the render by adding adjustment layers and much more. Also, you can save your image to your hard drive in a preferred format. Now you're ready to render with V-Ray for Maya. Join us for our next videos which cover lighting and materials.